Now, Dom, this is a walk-in, and you've got to take it very seriously. I know what a walk-in is. I've done telly before. <laughs> Even this isn't telly. I had my 30th birthday party in here. Not bad, is it? Halcyon times, those were. Of course, about a year ago. <laughs> what a party. You're about 56 now, aren't you? I am 57, yeah. yeah. Dye the hair? I've, obviously, yeah. What's the big clock for? Is that your thing? Tommy, that you is your thing. Is. All right, what sit do we down, do? I'll sit here. Down. I know, that's how you work. It's all right. Do you? I'm going to run away in a minute. <laughs> so what are we doing? <laughs> we come back, come back, come back. Oh, 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 that's my catchphrase. <sighs> you got to sit up. <laughs> Try to look interested. Come on. Got face me, up. face me. I'm on a um, meter. Tom Jolly, great to see you. Hi, Matt. How are you doing? I'm slightly concerned that you haven't done a prank on me yet. I haven't pranked for about five years. I'm a recovering pranker. I want to see how loudly you can say, Call me back, I'm being interviewed by Matt. All right. Call me back! I'm being interviewed by Matt! <laughs> and it's rubbish! <laughs> God, you know, that's the first time I've done that in a long time. My throat is just recovering. I, I really damaged my throat doing that, because apparently I do shout really loudly for that, but... No, anyway. I, can, I can verify it. You do shout very loudly. It's really odd, um, because I'm such a quiet person. Such a quiet person. <laughs> you can count us down, Dom. All right. Four, three, five. <laughs> what is your life philosophy? Have a good time all the time. It comes from Derek Smalls in his final tap. Have you got a favourite philosopher? Uh, apart from Derek Smalls in his final tap. <laughs> Bugs Bunny, I think. Keep it real, this word. Is it fair to say you're not a particularly practical person? I'm a totally impractical person. Basically, my whole philosophy is kind of laziness. It's kind of anything I have to do some hard work for, I just don't really do. And that's similar to, I don't know how to, I can change a light bulb, that's about it. How are you at mowing the lawn? I, I've got a gardener. What is your favourite book? My favourite book, Holidays in Hell by P.J. O'Rourke. What is your favourite film? My favourite film is probably Betty Blue. Let's talk quickly about travel. Well, actually, we can spend a bit of time on travel. Yeah, what is your favourite country? Uh, my favourite country changes all the time, but uh, at the moment it's Cambodia and North Korea, probably. Unusual choices, perhaps, but you've just been to North Korea. Well, I've Korea. just been there. I mean, North Korea, actually, as a country, doesn't have anything particularly... In fact, it's a pretty ugly country, to be frank, but this, it's the most secretive country in the world. They only let about 1,000 Westerners in a year, and I managed to get in as a tourist and wander around, and it is just mind-blowing because it's so... Odd. It's like being in a film of a totalitarian state. You can't take your mobile in. You, uh, you know, everywhere you go, there's mass displays of people doing gymnastics and people cutting lawn with scissors, and it's just totally crazy place. Of all the people they could have let into North Korea, why on earth did they let Don Jolly in? Well, I don't think I'm that dangerous. I'd like letting, <laughs> they let Christopher Hitchens in, so that's far worse. But um, now okay. look, we've got to be careful. <laughs> why people, are you lot, so afraid um, of life? Um, um, Christopher <laughs> Hitchens is a far more sort of. Uh, <laughs> Far more dangerous journalist, if you like, to North Korea than me. I mean, what am I going to do? Like, you know, what am I going to do? Start shouting a big mobile phone. Hello, I'm in North Korea. It's rubbish. Have you ever done anything so stupid that you've injured yourself? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, well, I've done it loads of times actually. But uh, the latest one, I was on a volcano in Nicaragua doing a film, and they told me you could ski down it. So I climbed up. There were some skis to find that this was absolute rubbish. But the cameras were there, so I had a go, and I just rolled all the way down and literally cut myself into ribbons on volcanic rock. Are you a bit of a fan of extreme sports? No, I'm not. That's what's so funny. I'm, I'm actually really lazy. I just like watching TV, but I kind of, I think it's something psychological that I try and make myself face things I don't really want to do. So I always find myself doing things that really I could do without doing. Do you ever feel guilty about any of the pranks you play on innocent bystanders? No, guilt is a completely pointless uh, <laughs> thing to have. But also, I, I don't have guilt for the pranks because everyone we did pranks on signed a a form afterwards. Has anyone ever been violent to you? Yeah, lots of people, nearly. I've got a very good sense of, but uh, I've got a, a traffic light system. Imminent violence. Yeah, I've got a traffic light system that you build up when you <laughs> go up. Basically, if you go up and someone's a green light, they're like, easy, you can do whatever you want. Orange, you sort of think, right, be careful, don't push it. And a red <laughs> is like, just out of Broadmoor, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong person, and you walk off. And how about me? 
Because you, you you're once agreed. Put, you <laughs> I'm very, I did a prank on you. I was going to say you did a prank on you me. You tried to get me on uh, Daily Politics or something. Uh, it was this week, I think, at the this time. This week, yeah. But I have to say, Don, yeah. you did pretend that your au pair had broken her leg. Yeah, I did. In order that to was... discourage me to come and film with you. Yeah, well, that was... It was actually terrifying for me as a producer. Well, yeah, well, firstly, that was funny. Secondly, I didn't want to do the show. And thirdly... <laughs> come on, you I did it, and you did you, well. You're so pushy that actually it had to be something physical, like someone breaking a leg, otherwise you go, oh, come on, it's TV. Because <laughs> you don't take no for an answer, in my experience. What is your absolute top favourite thing in the whole world to do? My top is travel. I, I just, I'm obsessed with travel. I've got wanderlust. What about the carbon footprint? I, I couldn't give a f- about my carbon footprint. I mean, it's just pointless anyway. I mean, the amount of stuff belched out by one factory in, in China negates any of my travel. And as far as I'm concerned, 80% of the world shouldn't be travelling. I mean, if you're travelling just to go and vomit in a country and, you know, get drunk and stuff in someone's capital city, forget it. Stay at home and do it there. You should travel to travel properly and go to places and broaden the mind, not broaden your beer gut. So I now have to come to the point where I try for once and for all to sort out exactly what is your heritage. Gosh, My that heritage? A, that was a long-winded question, but yeah. you were born and brought up in Beirut? I was born and brought up, brought up in Beirut. Both my parents are English. My dad is English, but... Swiss descent, which is where Jolly's from. I was going to ask. It's quite an unusual name, isn't it? Not in Switzerland, is it? Tell me about... <laughs> tell me about Huxley, the black Labrador. He's a black Labrador. And do you love him very, very much? I love him very, very much. Although I've got a new dog now called Oscar, who's a flat coat retriever, and I've also got a new cat called Dr Pepper. But they're all black. All my cats are black. It's not a racist thing. You live in the countryside? I do. Do they like you out there? No, they hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have been about to swear that. Yeah, I was. Uh, so you're a townie then, really? Well, I'm a townie who's moved to London. They've moved to the country, but I want to be a country person, but they won't accept me. On which note? It's time to go. It's all over. No. You didn't walk out? Well, I didn't want to walk out. I had lots of things to say. That's good. Can I do a ten-minute one? I've got loads of stuff to say. <laughs> good to see you, Dom. Nice to see you. Is this, this is your career now, is it? You're going to interview people with a clock? That's kind of... It's an odd way to make a living. Because I blagged my way into TV, and this is you blagging your well, way into TV. It's like one blagger to another. Absolutely. It's a double blag. Best of luck, eh?